Hey there people, Eastern Ontario. So I started my project, my mini watt. Uh, it's all going to be out of wood. Um, you're looking at the rotor right now. It's going to be a 12 magnet, 9 coils, 3 phase. Um, it's like an experiment, um, experimental mag uh, rotor. I got it set up on my drill there so I can uh, see uh, my coils are they going to react to uh, voltage and the oscilloscope see the wave and all that make sure I got a nice wave and um, so far uh, this was my first attempt uh, too wide my hats off to people who does coils it's hard enough um, anyway that's where my first coil I made it with a this spacer between our my little gadget there and I found it that it was a little bit too thick and contains of 200 uh, turns. Then I went with uh, a thinner, uh, about uh, six millimeters, maybe a quarter of an inch. And uh, with this, I did another 200 turns, a lot nicer. But it still didn't just fill up my space completely on my diagram, so I can go between the two triangles there. So, what I did is, that's another 200 turns, and they're all under 6 ohms, like uh, 2.7, this one was like 3.1, so I've got this one done. This one was my third one. I think this is, was my best uh, result. Uh, it contains of 250 turns. I'm using also a uh, 26 gauge wire. I'm not going over a lot of amps, I just want to, uh, just produce some electricity is my first one. I might go with uh, a bigger gauge wire later on though uh, because um, well I don't have that much a magnet pull either so I'm using uh, what three quarters by maybe 116 magnet Nuthium uh, N48 I think but they're doubled up each whoops <laughs> Each of uh, each of those magnets, there's two of them in there, one in the bottom, one on top, and I think I did it right. Should repel one uh, mag uh, attracts, one repel, one attracts, twelve magnets. So, so now we're playing for uh, voltage, I guess. I have no idea how much volt I'm going to get out of these. So that's why I got my little rig there. It's on a drill. It's set up for 120. RPM. So when I press the trigger, it goes about 120 p RPM. See what I can produce out of that with those little coil. Like I say, it's only 26 gauge wire. I might go up to 22. I'm not sure. But for now, that's what I got. If uh, anybody's got uh, some suggestions, I'd be gladly, uh, I'd be glad to take them because it's my first uh, turbine building. I am not, uh, how do you say that, uh, I got good knowledge in electricity and, uh, and <laughs> a lot of other things, but anyway, uh, well, yeah, that's it, there's the start, got the rotor, a couple of coils, like I say, this one's going to be probably garbage, because, I don't know, this was my first one, I was going with this uh, model right here, my third one that I did for picks perfectly between those lines so I can go on make my nine coils exactly the same like I say it contains 250 turns with a 26 gauge wire and the 26 gauge wire I just got a little roll for now because I'm not sure if I'm going to use 26 gauge if you have any suggestion about that also I'd be glad to take them so yeah, there you go. I've mostly completed the whole um, assembly for the uh, turbine. Videos are coming up. We made a couple there and we still got uh, the wings to build. We got one wing done. But the uh, rotor and the other set that goes on the rotor with the, uh, the arms, that's all done. So it's just uh, getting a varnish right now. I made this uh, rotor with the magnet with, out of plywood though. The rest is all made out of oak, uh, oak. Uh, 
we made the whole turbine out of oak and the wings they're going to be a skeleton out of oak with a wooden um, how do you say that a wooden skin on it I guess you can say a wooden skin uh, they're just about two feet high it's going to be about two feet around all together and uh, like I say it's just a mini uh, a mini vertical axles wind turbine I am starting it's my first one next one's going to be out of metal very big and uh, okay well there's my rig a little bit of a uh, car wax just so the glue doesn't stick on it so uh, yeah that's it <laughs> little rum and coke you know uh, just to keep you going because winding those coil is long and all hard <laughs> okay till the next video see you later well I can say I'm getting better and better of uh, coiling things this was my first one too thick the core inside was just too thick yeah, this was my second one we're both 200 turns this was a little bit thinner core same thing in the side but it just didn't fit in my uh, a little bit too much space still on my uh, my diagram so now I got one phase done those are my last one I just done I think they look pretty pretty darn good there you go they fit perfect perfectly on those lines took those diagrams on the uh, internet and sized them up in my, on my printer for the size I wanted looking at a um, six seven inch six and three quarters so anyway that's that so I got one phase done two more to go more videos to come <laughs> this little rig it's a great little rig works well cool yeah nice coils I like them <laughs> hope they're okay <laughs>